Welcome to another video. Welcome to a budgeting video for the month of August. August. We are left with what? September, October, November, and then December, and then it's 2025. If you haven't started your budgeting journey, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. Don't wait for the new year. Start now. In the new year, you want to be flourishing. So don't wait anymore, any longer. It's done. Start now. <laughs> Um, so what I'm going to start with is listing all the bills um, or should I do the calendar first? Maybe I should do the calendar first because it's one of the boring parts <laughs> of the um, budget. So I'm just going to grab my stickers. So I'm going to start with the sticker. So payday one. So now how it works, I've obviously announced that I'm now full time. Um, self-employed so now how it works is i pay myself every other monday um and then this monday the first monday of the month is the income from my husband as well so but for norma's diary um i pay myself every other monday and to be honest with you i don't have as much bills as i used to have anymore so most of the money is going to like savings and um debt is almost done obviously my husband also has a loan that he's also paying off so i'm going to help him on that and once we are both done with that that's when i'm going to announce that i am now debt free so for now um i'll just put my payday stickers and then i'm going to also put the bills that we have paid already I've already got it on my spreadsheet over there, so I'm just going to update the BFF. Um, and if you want the planner, unfortunately, um, it has sold out and I didn't restock it on purpose just because I wanted to um, have the new BFF launch earlier this year. So I'm going to try and launch it um in august i don't know though i'm still i haven't even finished designing it i'm still waiting to see if i can get a sample first always get a sample so to the people that are wanting to join my i'm gonna call it norma's academy learning how to create your own planners learning how to build a brand and all of that um you will see i'll always tell you to get a sample first okay so we put electricity on tuesday last week and we also got and i'm using the minimal stickers so they're probably looking tiny i'm just going to zoom you guys in and i did also put petrol as well on that day and then on wednesday i also paid for shopify another expense that you need to be aware of if you're wanting to own a business but again, um, when that course launches, I'm going to touch on all the payments and expenses that people don't talk about. And it makes a lot of people who have a business like it fails because it's things they were, they were not aware of, you know, the hidden cost. And it happens also with like buying a property, like people, especially here in South Africa, they glamorize um, being a homeowner, which is nice. Definitely do it if you are ready, if you can afford it. But they don't actually tell you about the hidden cost. There's some hidden cost, rates, levies, etc. That people don't actually talk about. And then when people buy a house, take a picture, yay, I've got a house. Now they're stressed because I did not know that I have to pay so much more. It's like I'm renting, like I've bought this house and now I'm, every month there's also other costs that are coming out um, that I didn't plan for. So just because you qualify doesn't mean you can afford I always say that to people just because you qualify for a BMW doesn't mean you can afford it can you afford its petrol can you afford its insurance can you afford servicing it all of those hidden costs that people don't talk about it's things that you need to do your homework on before you embark into that and that's why it's important to follow um, you know content creators that are talking about real things not just um beauty and 
I don't know, someone showing off their life, but actually people who are trying to help you learn about things that we are not taught at school. Like at school, they don't teach us um, how to start a business. They don't teach us how to budget. So it's things that you need to learn yourself. And I am passionate about, you know, teaching. I think I'm just a, literally a born teacher. I just didn't become a teacher. Um, but what I'm doing is kind of like teaching. But obviously, I'm not a qualified teacher. Um, but I'm experienced in what I am teaching, which is budgeting. And then now I'm also going to teach um, starting a brand that will hopefully you will one day um, leave your full time job and find freedom in doing your own business, which I don't want to lie. I found that freedom and I'm so happy. Um, like last week Skyla had sports day and it was so nice that I didn't have to ask for time off um, I didn't have to you know ask for someone to do something for me I didn't have to feel like oh, someone was talking about me now just because I had to go to Skyla sports day and it, like uh, you know it's just too much sometimes um, Sorry, I'm just putting stickers and then I'm going to tell you everything that I am budgeting for and that we have already paid for. Yeah, so it's important to, um, when you're learning all of these things, like if you're learning how to, if you're wanting to buy property, like educate yourself. If you are wanting to start a business and a brand, educate yourself so that when, like you laying that foundation, as I always say, I call it the cornerstone because the cornerstone is a foundation that you need in order for um, your, whatever you're building on top of that will not be shaken. Um, so you need that foundation. You need to know exactly what you are getting into and um, how to prepare yourself for um you know rainy days and when things get tough you whatever you build doesn't collapse um because the foundation is solid and that is very important okay where is this sticker so i'm gonna go to the 15th now there we go and i also did um launch a what is it a course it's a very it's very affordable it's, it's 333 rand um, and it's a course on learning how to budget. I'm just no longer going to be taking one-on-ones. I am still going to be doing your budget my way where um, you can submit your numbers to me. I will create a whole spreadsheet for you, send everything to you in a pre-recorded video um, of me going through your numbers, but I won't like do a proper one-on-one -on -one where I call you and I have you on WhatsApp and all of that. I don't have time for that anymore um, just because there's so much other things that I want to do okay so let me get a pen okay righty so for tuesday last week oh god what happened here now oh gosh i don't know what's going on with my pen get the blue one okay so tuesday last week we did put um electricity and we put 200 rand. I think I'm gonna bump it up this, um, I think, let me see this electricity. I think we might have to put more electricity maybe on wait, on Thursday. Um, so I'm just gonna put the electricity sticker there as well. And I'm gonna bump it up to like 400 rand. I wanna see how long it's gonna last. Obviously I'm home now most of the time, well, all the time. So I'm using more electricity than we were using when I was out of home and at work. So I just, I think putting 400 Rand will be good. So 400 Rand on electricity there. So for now we're still okay, it's Monday. So we're gonna see how that goes, but I think it should be fine till Thursday. Um, I also did put petrol for 300 rand. That is also lasted well. And I think I'm going to have to put more petrol again on Thursday because we are going um, out of town for the long weekend. 
this is a shop icon so this is for my Shopify and um, the Cornerstone Club platform so you'll see when you join the Cornerstone Club or even if you enroll into the budgeting course um, it's a whole different platform that you'll be in <coughs> sorry guys I don't know what's wrong with my throat um, and I'm paying for the platform it's like a website um, but for hosting courses and stuff it's not cheap guys it's not cheap these things are not cheap running a business uh, it's not cheap but um, my mental health my sanity is way more expensive I'm just gonna put two just so I can have both of them there. So I've got Shopify, which I paid um, 1,900 this month for Shopify. Then on Wednesday, Disney Plus, 139. And then on um, the same day last week, um, I paid for the platform, which was 1885. And this 1885 is a month, guys. So just letting you know. Again, I will go through all the costs um, during the building a brand plat um, course so that you can prepare yourself. Um, Thursday was rent day. Now we've already paid rent for August already. So we're already a month ahead. We've also paid for September. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, put the 10, the, the rent, but this was for september it wasn't for august so we're already a month ahead which was the goal and again like things like this you need to prepare for if you are leaving your job you want to have an emergency fund um you know pay your rent ahead or your mortgage ahead or whatever it is and um, whatever your salary is try and have that six months ahead and please excuse my nails i'm getting my nails done tomorrow tomorrow yes no wednesday so that i can get ready for the wedding um and then yesterday sunday netflix i'm now paying for two um two devices on netflix which is 159 no longer paying for one another nice thing about paying off like debts you can start introducing um, luxury expenses that you were not obviously indulging in because you were prioritizing paying off debt we also had um, breakfast at Wimpy yesterday, which was 420 Rand in total. Um, and then today I did laundry, which was quite expensive, 434. Um, but there was also blankets, obviously being winter, you know, sending our blankets and stuff to get washed. Um, those heavy blankets. And then uh, tomorrow, nail appointment. Um, I don't know how much is that going to be. And also Wednesday, lash appointment. I don't know how much that's going to be. As soon as I um, pay for it, I will obviously update my calendar. Um, and then gap cover on the 15th of 460. And then I don't have anything else planned, but again, as I spend money, I will keep you guys updated. But on the 26th, the Monday, the 26th, I've got car insurance and Wi-Fi that will need to be paid for. What's nice about um, Wi-Fi is that I can literally pay for it now. So if I've got 400 Rand, I can pay for it now and then I'm ahead on Wi-Fi as well. So those are the kind of um, things that I'm going to be doing. And I don't know if you want to, you know, know when I'm doing that or you just want to see me by Jets and J without like, oh, okay, that's ahead, that's ahead and not knowing how to, um, uh. okay, so 400 and then one, one, nine two for car insurance that comes out on actually the 25th but um it will be the 26th and as you can see there's no vodacom because no more debt guys no more debt this week i also will be putting petrol i think here yeah, i still have enough and i don't go anywhere um so let's get the petrol sticker 
is so i think i'll be putting patreon on thursday for um our little trip so i think i have budgeted um 800 rand on petrol which should be close to a full tank for my car um and then friday obviously it's a long weekend um but saturday I, i'm going to have a plan to give us we have planned to spend um at the wedding that we're going to be at we have planned to spend 1000 hopefully we don't even spend the 1000 rand i'm sure it's going to be less than that if you don't know i'm i don't drink guys like if kb makes me a drink i literally have one sip because i'm just i don't know what's wrong with me i don't enjoy it so this is just worst case scenario because I know he's probably not going to have too much to, to drink as well just because we are out of the house. He likes drinking at home. Um, and just in case though, if you know we're buying shots and things like that. Um, but I know food and everything is included at the wedding. Accommodation is already sorted as well. So this is just a little allowance for us for to spend. But we will see how that goes and I'll keep you updated as well on that. And then Sunday, um, coming back home, we might have to put petrol again. I'm not sure of how much, um, but I will leave it over there. Just I'll update it as soon as we come back. Okay, so that is it. Not much bills, as you can see. So now if we go to our bills tracker, so... For the income, so we budgeting income um, for the every second Monday. So it's going to be the 29, 12, and 26. Um, so it's going to be 29, 12, and 26. And the total amounts that we are budgeting is 45. See how much uh, income has increased, hey? But most of this is going into savings. Um, so now, the fixed bills that we pay for. So there is rent. Um, and the budgeted amount for rent is 10,700 rand, um, which is due on the 1st. And then there is electricity. Electricity is actually not a fixed bill. So I'm going to remove it here. Electricity is not a fixed bill. Um, Shopify is also not a fixed bill. But I have an estimate for Shopify. So I usually budget around 1,900 Rand for Shopify. Um, and then after that we also have now we've got a new one which is the cornerstone creators club um so i'm gonna call it tcc and that is 1885 what i love about my bills right now is that i can cancel these memberships and it will be fine it's not like debt where you have to pay off the 100k that you are owing or whatever so that makes me happy so shopify the cornerstone and then there is disney um disney plus of 139 and then there is netflix again these are not like priority spending these are just um fixed bills so bills that don't change month to month shopify does change a little bit but it's usually around there i'm just putting it here just because it is quite a fixed bill for me um and then there is medical medical aid is 3067 and then there is there is there is there is there is there is, there is, there is insurance so car insurance and wi-fi 
car insurance is 1192 and then wi-fi is 400 rand so 399 but i'll just put 400 rand and gap cover gap cover is 460 rand and then there is also canva so these are all like norma's diary the reason why i'm putting them here it's because i've put the whole income here this income <clears throat> usually i put some in our norma's diary like business budget um and then i have like a personal spending budget but for now just because i'm trying to find my feet with um becoming an, a full-time entrepreneur i'm not sure what to do so i'm just putting everything in one budget and i will figure i'm still going to separate it so we've got canva for 222 two, two, and then we've got adobe suite adobe suite is what i use for creating all the planners um, all the worksheets that you see i also use it for um editing these kind of videos so premiere pro so it's around 1300 a month it's actually 1200 and some change 80 something but i'm just gonna say 1300 rand um and then that is it i think that is fixed oh bank charges so bank charge of 499 Okay, so yeah, that is it, that is fixed. So I'm now just going to calculate all of these. Is 10, seven plus one nine plus one eight eight five plus one three nine plus one five nine plus three zero oh six seven plus one one nine two plus four hundred plus four sixty. Plus two 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 plus one three hundred plus four nine nine is twenty one thousand nine hundred and twenty three. So that is the total. I'm just gonna put it right here. So twenty one thousand nine hundred and twenty three is the total um, fixed bill bills um, and then due dates so Shopify is due on the last day of the month as well as the corner stone creators club um, and then also Disney plus I think so let me just check yep 31 Netflix is due on the fourth medical on the first um, insurance is due on the 25th Wi-Fi is also 25th, um, Gap Cover is the 15th, Canva is the 30th, Adobe Suite is the, one second, the 8th, um, and then Bank Charges the 13th. Okay, so this is how my budget looks for now and how much we have spent so far is, so if I, gosh, I didn't know that it's already on 24 minutes of this video. Um, Shopify, I did spend 1,700, 1,875. The Cornerstone Club is 1,800 and 85 disney plus 139 netflix 159 medical aid 3067 car insurance i haven't paid for it yet wi-fi gap cover nothing canva we did pay which was 222 adobe suites not yet bank charges not yet Okay, so that is how my fixed bills for my budget are looking so far. So currently how much I have remaining, if I take that amount minus 45,500, we are left with 23,577 remaining. Oh, I didn't add the 500 here, that's fine. I'm just gonna take out the 500 then here. So 23,077 remaining.
Okay, so now I'm gonna move to my variable debt and savings. So for my variable expenses, um, we have electricity, then we have food, actually let me just go groceries, and then eating out just to separate it. Groceries and eating out, but it's all under the food category. Then we've got um, petrol. Um, and then beauty. Um, and then laundry. Yeah. Okay, so how much we budgeted for each category. So for electricity, this month I am budgeting 600 Rand. For groceries, I am budgeting 3,000. For eating out, only 1,000. Um, for petrol, I am budgeting, uh, because we are also going out, so I'm going to budget 2,500 for beauty, I'm going to budget 1,200 because I have to do lashes and then for laundry, we budgeting 600. Okay, so again, when the month ends, I will come back and let you know how much we spent and then for, let me actually calculate the total there though. So it is six six hundred plus three thousand plus one thousand plus two thousand five hundred plus one thousand two hundred and six hundred. So that's eight thousand nine hundred. So if we minus that from the 23,077 that was left. We are still left with 14,000, which is nice. And then for debt payments, so for the loan, so for the loan, we have paid 9,000 already. So 9,663, that's how much we have paid and 14 14 177 minus 9 6 6 3 we are left with 4500 and that is all going to savings but the one thing i want to do is i want to add the miscellaneous that um i didn't add over onto my fixed bills so on my savings it's not a saving but I'm just gonna add it um, miscellaneous which we plan to have 400 well I've already withdrew the money 400 and then after that we've got um, savings for um, so the 52 challenge um, what else the snowball snowball challenge is almost done i will do a whole completely new video for that um snowball and what other savings i think let's put some money in christmas okay so for the 52 i'm hoping to get to ten thousand on the 52 we are currently sitting on like 8,500 rand, so 8,500 minus 10. So I need to put like 1,500. Um, and then the snowball, I will, I think I need just 300 to finish it. And then Christmas, I think I'll put also a 500. So how much is all of this in total? So we've got we've got 400 plus 15 plus 3 plus 5. So 2,700 rand in total.
that I plan to save. But now, if I'm subtracted for the from the 4,500 that we had remaining, I'm still got 1,800 rand to work with. And I think I'm gonna put it into our emergency fund. Even though our emergency fund is fully funded, I'm just going to add onto it, because why not, you know? Um, so I'm gonna put it over here. So I'm just gonna go emergency. Oops, um, 1,800. And then, um, obviously, if I go the 2,700, actually, what I need to do is just add this. Um, so it is 400 plus 1,500 plus 300 plus 500 plus 1,800. Oh, gosh. Okay, start again. 400 plus 1,500 plus 300 plus 1,800 <coughs> is 4,500. So 4,500. Okay, so now if I take the fixed bills of 21,923 plus 8,900 plus 9,663 plus 4,500 it equals to 44,986 okay so that is the total expenses so it is 44,900 and 86 the income was 45 so now if I take the 45 thousand minus 44 986 it equals to 14 Rand left so left is 14 Rand I'm not worried about this 14 Rand. This is called a zero based budget. Every single amount of money from your income has to have a purpose. I know there's 14 Rand. I'm not worried about it. Chances are it's going to be some of the coins that I end up giving to the car guards, you know. So I'm not worried about this 14 Rand. Um, but when we say it's a zero based budget where every single amount of money has to have a purpose, it doesn't mean you just go around spending all of your money. Like out of this, 4,500 Rand went into savings and 9,600 went into debt. And then the rest um, covered the other bills and expenses. And what's nice is in those bills and expenses, there's also things like eating out, like beauty. Um, so your variable expenses where you treat yourself. Um, obviously, there's also other important bills, but there's other bills that you will be fine without. Like, I will be fine without um, eating out. Nothing will happen to me. I will survive without doing my nails and lashes and hair. Nothing will happen to me. But it's nice to also have these as well so that you don't feel deprived, so that you don't feel like you are restricted. And also, another important thing is to also know that in the bills, there's also... Um, business expenses so these are all business expenses um, TCC and Shopify yeah so one two three four are business expenses and then these are also luxuries um, Disney plus and Netflix it's things that can come out and I'll be fine with that um, the needs over here are these right here rent medical car insurance wi-fi gap cover bank charges now these business expenses are also needs because i need them to get norma's diary to function properly um but if we didn't have them and i just had instagram and you know whatsapp i'll be fine norma's diary will still be fine but again it just it's just easier 
this is also a need and this is a need and petrol is a need and laundry is a need okay so it's important for you to know out of your bills what are needs what are wants what is going into debts what is going into savings and um, what is a treat things like that in that way you feel like you're in more control over your finances you know where everything is going um, but also you know that you're not depriving yourself restricting yourself to things that you love to do like your hair your nails um, going out you're drinking you're this you're that that is very important okay thank you so much guys for watching and i really hope that you enjoyed this video and i'll be back with another video where we will be doing the cash stuffing side um, for our variable expenses and also updating you on um, our savings so far i'll see you on the next one bye